testing lights out. It's not the fault of blue light yet, but you can hear the bang and the boom and the pow. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, Nerd Generation, a.k.a. News, DC Future Series continues. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we got to talk about the Flash. If you've been living under a rock or been up in a spaceship or up in the Twilight Zone, I don't know where you've been. Ladies and gentlemen, Warner Brothers has flipped the lid, broke the glass, fell through the ice. But before we even continue, once again, do the right thing, boys and girls. Click on the subscribe button because this show is definitely going to a YouTube and a couple other platforms. We don't uh, discriminate. Wave hello to our friends out in iTunes. And ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce the CEO, the uh, Don Mechadon <laughs> of Nerd Generation, the Optimus Prime. Wow. It felt good saying Optimus Prime right now because <laughs> we needed a little bit of stability. But ladies and gentlemen, he's here. Pablo, say twice to Lama. Pete, what's going on? What's going on, man? Not man, there's too much going on, too much going up, too much going out. Yeah. I can't believe it. Well, I just want to say but once again. I just want to say just one thing. Um, please, people, people who are listening to the show, if y'all listening to it and y'all like it, just give it a like, please. It, it won't cost nothing. Just hit, give it a like. It really helps us. It doesn't cost you anything at all, but it is valuable to us to, for you to hit that like button. So if you can do that, we really, really appreciate it. Come on, partner. Do the right thing. Do the right thing. And speaking of doing the right thing, we're going to get right into this, ladies and gentlemen. The good folks over at Warner Brothers, owned by AT&T, have made some moves in the last couple of weeks that we can only call, ladies and gentlemen, extraordinary. Or as that little kid said on the Little Rascals, remarkable. I don't even know where to begin. All I know is tips out to the guys across the street. We got to talk about some things that you guys are doing across the street. But other than that, it's still smooth sailing. But there's some people over there trying to rock the boat. There's some people over there trying to break the glass. We'll talk about that in another episode. Um, It just seems to me real quick before we talk about what we're talking about with DC Universe, uh, there seems to be some people over there in the Marvel Studios who just don't get where they're at. They just don't get it. That's not happening here. But that's another story. The only bad thing about it is, ladies and gentlemen, I think that we're going to be the ones who suffer for it, but we will move on because the ship is steady over there. And if there's a couple of people who want to rock the boat, change the premise, or basically make personal endeavors that's not going to fly mr solano you know that i know that it's not going to happen and i guess there's going to be some irate people i guess there's going to be released uh i don't want to get into it but that's never going to happen but anyway the dc cinematic universe ladies and gentlemen we're talking about the upcoming movie called the flash after years in hiatus after 2017's release of zack snyder's justice league mr solano we are here now Talking about the upcoming Flash movie. And the reason why we're talking about it is because there are several news items that have broken loose. We were very first happy, ecstatic, to hear that Jeffrey, Mr. Morgan, was going to be playing Thomas Wayne. Finally, we thought organization... Finally, we thought the future looks bright. Mr. Solano, what the hell happened? Man, when I read the article that that it was a mistake because of some prior dealings with the possibility of him being um, Bruce Wayne's father in the Flashpoint, um, But basically, the rumors turned out possibly still, hopefully, I don't know, maybe because of the reaction, they might reconsider, who knows, but let's see, Um, that it was old news and and that that wasn't the case. So are we saying officially that the rumor that Jeffrey Dean Morgan reprising the role of Thomas Wayne and the upcoming Flashpoint movie is speculation, not confirmed. 
Um, I think that article pretty much I'm um, just uh, um shut down those rumors. Really. But we were happy. I think the comic community, oh, yeah. with all the trials and tribulation that we're dealing with in the real world in the United States of America right now, and we all know what it is, but we're going to, like I said, my money is on us. We're going to get through this. This is like a bad date. <laughs> it's almost 10 o'clock. <laughs> it's almost over. But anyway, but like a bad date, life goes on. Now, ladies and gentlemen, rumors have broke out that Mr. Andy, and I don't want to butcher his name, Mr. Andy Muschietti. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you might say, this. who is Andy Muschietti? Mr. Muschietti is the third director attached to the Flash movie. That's right. Since 2017, which is basically three years ago, we've had three different directors attached to this Flash movie. And as a matter of fact, two of those other directors have gone on to do some great stuff. I don't know if people knew that, if they knew who was actually attached to that movie. Uh... Brother man went to go do something. He might get a, He might get an award this year. Like, you know what? So guess what? I was actually going to do a video on all the directors that have left the Flashpoint. And all, and, it, and it all seems to be because of one person that just seems to be reluctant. So yeah, but, but here's the problem with Warner Brothers. Why is Ezra Miller calling the shots? <laughs> that kid across the street, you, it, it wouldn't even be a conversation. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, now if you want to say, well, Hey, hey, Spivey, 4994, who's Andy Muschietti? Andy Muschietti directed It, directed It too. directed Mama. You know, we bring it back, we bring it back. So now you know who this guy is. The guy has a track record. The guy's not some guy they got out of film school and just dusted, dusted him off and gave him a camera and tell him to go. No, that didn't happen here. 2017 left us was we thought we were getting a Flashpoint movie to reboot the Zack Snyder universe. That's what we thought we were getting, boys and girls. We really did. After the failure, and you know, I don't want this ain't personal. After the failure of BVS, after the mixing and matching of Justice League, uh, people were looking forward to maybe. Warner Brothers felt like they had to wipe the slate clean. Now, as we said in another podcast, that management team from 2017, they're all gone. And if you didn't know that from not listening before, you're knowing that right now. I just told you, once again, the management team from Warner Brothers who greenlit BBS and Justice League, they're gone. New management's in charge. J.J. Abrams is here. And you knew that because he uh, greenlit a uh, HBO Max Green Latin show. Mm. You knew J.J. was here. J.J.'s in the house. J.J.'s in the house. So now J.J.'s in the house. Andy's here. He's directing The Flash. We thought uh, Mr. Morgan was going to play Thomas Wayne, but that's still up in there. We don't know what's going on. But the one thing we did get confirmation on, well, a somewhat confirmation or as confirmations go in Hollywood, they are talking to Mr. Michael. That's right, Michael, 1989, Tim Burton, Batman, Keaton. Best Batman. Is in talks. To play an alternate of the kingdom come, Bruce Wayne. Everybody loves kingdom come. If you never read a comic book in your life, you you love kingdom come. There's nothing to even talk about. Yeah. Kingdom come is a staple the in novel. the comic book universe. Just like the Infinity War is with the kid across the street, kingdom come is also. Now, having Keaton come in and play... Batman from Bruce Wayne from Kingdom Come? Okay. Are we doing the Kingdom Come story? That, that's something else. I think that would be a great movie. I think that movie, that's a franchise right there. Three films, Kingdom yeah. Come. But anyway, I don't want to get off track. Yeah. Where are they going with this? So, so the movie is not Flashpoint, or it might be Flashpoint 2.0? What, like, what's I going on? I believe this is the latter. I believe they're, you know, retconning the original storyline of the flashpoint and changing it up to do other things um, okay when you say other things you mean to get rid of zach's universe because you put it out there we both put it out there that zach's universe might ultimately wind up on hbo max flashpoint is the reset right it's the reset button into something new so you can certainly uh build that movie as the beginning of something new right uh the flashpoint storyline everybody who's seen it and, and saw the animated movie know what this is all about. And that was a dope movie. And when they announced Keaton, I'm like, damn, why are they going to change the original 
storyline. The, the original storyline is great. Why can't you do that? If you're going to do Batman Beyond, do Batman Beyond. Do it as his own separate thing. Right? Or it could be pl- it could, or it could be part of that multi multiverse uh, uh, um, uh, in the DC universe, right? It could be something like that. But I think you, you hit it on the head. If you're gonna do Batman, there was Beyond, a little surprise. Yeah, if you're gonna do Batman Beyond, do Batman Beyond, do it, but don't put it put it in something that was originally, in my point of view, perfect. It's a great storyline. You had all the pieces. You named one of the pieces that everybody was so happy about or excited about hearing that's right jeffrey dean morgan and then you thomas do this, wayne and it's like yo what are you doing what 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 who who oh, who who who's driving the boat ladies and gentlemen who's driving the boat it looks like once again while we used to say Zack snyder combined six different versions of batman in one character in one movie it looks like warner brothers hasn't learned it looks like we're getting flashpoint Kingdom Come and Batman Beyond in one movie. Trey, you gotta what ask What is going you, on? You gotta ask this. Are the people that are saying yes to these things, do they know these these storylines? Do they do they know these characters? Are they are the people that are saying yes, do they know? I think you're getting. I think you're getting the feeling that they don't know when somebody's just telling them, and somebody's pitching ideas. Everybody loves pitching, but when some of these ideas that are being pitched are just <laughs> wow, yeah. you're combining three different storylines in one movie: Flashpoint, Kingdom Come, Batman Beyond. I think. I think you're just grabbing for the gusto again. And there's nothing wrong with Gusto. We used to watch Gusto, and we used to want Gusto when we was watching Solid Gold. <laughs> Solid Gold. Remember that, Solid Gold? No, I but, um, from CB4. <sighs> Once again, I just have a bad feeling about grabbing four different plot lines and combining them into one movie like they do on the CW shows. Unfortunately, I must be crazy. I'm thinking that the movie universe will still be better than the TV universe. But when the TV universe are combining storylines and they don't even have the budget to pull these things off, but yet they do. But you know what? We give it a pass. And let's be honest. Let's, hey, guys, we do give TV a pass. Some of the stuff coming from Greg Berlanti, it's, it's a little all over the page. But. It's only TV. We give it a pass. The DC Universe is splitting up into segments yeah. all over the place. And that's the bottom line. I'm not making this up. You obviously don't have to agree with me, but all you got to do is look. This universe is is breaking up into segments. And then sooner or later, all these people are going to say, that, "What are you go- hey, guys, what are you going to do when J.J. launches his stuff? What universe is that part of? I mean... I talked to two other people today, and the first thing they said was, it's very confusing to the average person to see three different Batmans, four different Supermans, three different Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman is the only franchise right now that 1984, she's kind of like in limbo. I could be part of this. I could be part of that. I could be part of the... Patty was very smart. Yeah. And very shrewd in separating Wonder Woman from what is going on with the DCU future series and the, basically the DCU universe. I guess, you know what, maybe at fandom, August 22nd, if you kids didn't know, August 22nd, we'll find out some more information. Here's a little topic that we were shocked and we talked about it yesterday. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a rumor that Ben Affleck has signed a contract with Warner Brothers to return as Batman. How do you feel about that? Hey, if if they're doing it within the HBO Max universe, I don't care. I'm cool. Which universe? That's the whole problem. They can't separate themselves from Zack Snyder stuff, man. His... Uh, continuation of the Batman character won't be in the 
movie theaters per se. Because if if they do, then you have to ask yourself, what the hell are they doing with Batman's or Matt Reeves' Batman? Like, how? What's have going on here? Have you ever seen such self destruction? Self destruction. You're going to announce that Ben Affleck is coming back as Batman when you have Matt Reeves' Batman in production. You just killed Robert Pattinson. I mean, what, 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 uh, what's going on? And not only you're bringing back him, next thing you know, you're gonna bring back Kilmer, Clooney, Keaton. I think you Don't and I can agree Adam that West ain't here. you and I can agree that Bat- Matt Reeves' Batman. Um, we're confident in how well this movie. And, oh, it was gonna and, be a, and, it was gonna be a prototype. And, it was gonna and, be a prototype. And how it was good be Robert Pattinson would be as the Batman. Now it was with, with this is like you, does you, it even you, matter you, anymore? Yeah, you talk about taking the steam. You talk about taking the steam right after gone. Yeah, steam's man. gone. Now you got to come out with like stuff. You got to come out with dialogue. You got to come up with something that blow every everybody out the water, right? I don't know where Affleck's Batman goes. The more vocal people are, are with Ben, you can hear people wanting Ben back. I see it all the time on social media. People talking about. How much they want Ben back, right? Okay. But like you said, you want Ben back at where? In the movies? No. On HBO no. Max. HBO Max. Come on, man. Is it, does it make business sense to cannibalize your your future potential with Matt Reeves' Batman? What did it, you could? Uh, I don't. I don't understand it. If they do that, it's like two movies of the same character are out. Are going to be wow. out? It, it, it just doesn't make sense to me. They got to keep it on HBO Max. They got to. Remember all those years back when we were doing shows, uh, um, and I would say we need a Batman episode type thing with with and we need a Batman gonna, TV show. Yeah, they're gonna they're a gonna, Batman streaming show. This is leading towards that. Ben Affleck. I don't know if his movies they're gonna do on HBO Max. Who knows right now? I think it's too early to tell. But he's going to play Batman, I believe, in HBO Max, and it's going to be a, a, a series. It's going to be, why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't you want to do it? But who? But what Batman are we getting? We getting Zach's Batman? Zach's. Zach's. How do you separate it? How do you? Do, there's only... So I guess you, Zach, you only so I do guess it, Zach you, Snyder got a job. You only, do, you only ignore the past if you, do, if you do that. There's no other way to... Explain it, right? Warner Brothers has struck again. They grab the headlines, and we don't even know how to make it out. It's just unbelievable. But as we said before, Patty Jenkins, uh, Wonder Woman, 1984. Patty's pretty much safe. There's no commitment to the past. It can only have a future. What that future is and where that universe is. Who knows? Where is the DC universe? What is the current DC timeline? Who knows? Is it, I would have to guess, and you tell me if I'm wrong, isn't JJ's universe the current cinematic universe? As soon as some announcements start coming out, right? I mean, isn't it? I mean, the man has a Green Latin show. And he's being uh, Max. And then, is it a part of Zack Snyder's? I don't know. I don't know. It, have you ever seen anything like this? I'm just watching shows. Do they know each other? Who knows? <laughs> hey, call the Green Latin. Oh, no, oh, there ain't no Green Latin corpse in this universe. Or there is, but they haven't been introduced. So you got like four or five different universes going. Yes. <sighs> wow. This is too much of a headache. I'll go back to Marvel. At least I know where everything is. Yeah. And I know who everybody is. Yeah. And their structure. I mean, wh- but why the hell would I want that? Who would want that? Yeah. Unbelievable. Ezra Miller. He seems to be on the uh, beneficiary's uh, chair with all of this news coming out and none of it's negative towards him. Lucky man. A reprieve from like every, execution. It seems like everybody is on a road to redemption, right? Um, 
I don't know how you get past as Ramilla. I, I I believe if you if WB wanted to put out a poll, uh, to to find out if people were in favor of Ezra Miller being the Flash, there would be no surprise to you and I that it wouldn't be favorable towards him, right? Um, yeah, it, it really went. I, so, I've asked multitudes of people. Yeah, no one's happy with Ezra Miller. So I, I, if they choose to ignore that fact, then we have to deal with it, right? We have to deal with all the other nonsense. Why can't we deal with this? And that's one of the great things about the genre. That's one of the things that we all like to do in the genre. We all love the forecast. Can't do that with the DCU. Can't forecast. Don't don't do it. Yeah. You'll be having scrambled. You'll be having <laughs> scrambled egg for brains. Because <laughs> you it's, can't it's, it's, even it's, make this up. You can only talk about what you wish would happen with DC. Ba- basically, that's about it. Because you can't go off of what they give you unless they make an announcement. And I assure you, August 22nd, ladies and gentlemen, the announcements that are whatever's made at that fandom won't be the type of announcements that we're used to getting from the kid across the street. The only announcement that they make at their fandoms that carry along is the, is with their animation. Like a couple of years back, uh, you know, last year when they did... Uh, Young Justice and stuff like that, because that's pretty much in the books, and they could they, they they that's cemented, and then they can go forward and make a public announcement. But when it for, but as far as the movies are concerned, like to tell us when is Aquaman two going to production? Is James Wan going to come in and let the the crowds know about Aquaman two? Is Momoa going to talk about the uh, Aquaman two once he finishes uh, filming Dune? Uh, 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 things like that people want to know. We get announcements from J.J. about who's in the Green Lantern course. These are all the things, unfortunately, we would get from Mr. Foggy. I wanna make they a, let us know who's who. I, I want to make a bold prediction, man. I think Jason Momoa may not come back as Aquaman. And so you think they just might scrap that franchise? I think so. and Because one is going to be hell of an expensive movie to make and I don't think if they don't make it better than the than the first one I don't know this is this is you, you got lucky with that first one man they got lucky with that first one I'm gonna tell you that chaos magic is supposed to be in one division yeah, but it J- looks like <laughs> the DC universe is chaos if Jason Momoa does it he is going to get a hell of a payday if he doesn't come back or if he does come back. If he does come back as Aquaman, it will be a hell of a payday. Well, I think that's already arranged. You know, these films are already arranged if they are able to get a sequel. What about your girl Holly Quinn jumping on the Pirates Caribbean, jumping over to Disney? What the hell's going on? I don't know, man. I threw that one there to mess everybody up. Looks like Holly, looks like Margot said, listen... Pirates of Caribbean, they're going to reboot the whole franchise. I don't know if Johnny Depp's coming back, but Harley Quinn will now be in Pirates. All is I she say, unhappy all with all Warner all Brothers? All I got to say is this. It's Moves like, are being it, made. It, it, it's, yeah, it, and it's not like Disney has failed before with, like, John Carter. It made no money, right? It, it, it probably cost a, a And I love that movie. John Carter was a good, good adaptation. It was almost, it was just as good as the, as the Shadow. Yeah. I guess people just don't appreciate pulp, pulp yeah. uh, characters anymore. So anyway, all I gotta say is this: Ghostbusters. Charlie's that Angels. looks pretty good, man. Ghostbusters no, 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 looks no, pretty no. good. I'm the new about, one. I'm talking the about the new one. No, I'm talking about. The rendition to female characters playing these roles. Oh, that the the, uh, yeah. the pandering. Yes. The pandering movie. Yes. <laughs> so, Ghostbusters, Charlie's Angels, uh, Birds of Prey, ba- Batwoman, Batwoman. Batwoman. Nobody's really feeling. You got your little fan base, but it's nothing. It's nothing that is sustainable in terms of business. If you're making business, you're gonna be like. Like, is this making money for me? No, okay, we can't do this anymore. Yeah, so it's a one-off, ladies and gentlemen. Warner Brothers, CW wants Stephen Amell back. They want him to make cameos. What's going on, P? To Batwoman. Everything. 
And you can do that over at the CW because Greg Berlanti's uh, universe, you can bring people from the past. Yeah. I mean, they literally can take you out of when you walk down the hallway for five minutes. They can grab that 20-second you and pull them out and keep them around for years. What's the, what's what the, boy? What a what a writing what a writing gift that is. Yeah, the characters are never really dead. Yeah. I could just grab them. If he wants a hell of a payday, he does it. Right? Or, oh, he'll do it to keep the fan base. I mean, he has his fan base, and I think his fan base will follow him to his next project or something that he wants to do. He may be tired of this, but if he wants to do it and gets that and get that paper, it'll probably be easy work, right? Well, wow, not not many of us quit our job, and they still call us in to come in for a couple of days, and we still getting paid. It must be nice. It must be nice, ladies and gentlemen. How anyone can sit in the boardroom, which we have, sit at that table, which we have, have a room full of executives, which we have, pitch all these ideas, which people have, and everybody says, "Let's do all of them." What? <laughs> Yes, yes to what? All of it. Get yes. out. Get out. Get out. But there was no one to say get out, ladies and gentlemen. There wasn't. Let's be real. We're expecting answers on August 22nd on what the heck is going... They never give us answers. They... They... Blah, 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 blah. That's it. And this has nothing to do with our global situation. This is them. This is how they're structured. Unless JJ comes in there and JJ goes A B C D E F G, and if he does, he'll look like a hero. Isn't that amazing? JJ comes in there with some structure, he'll be a hero. Oh yeah, he'll be he'll be hailed a hero, of course. He'll be hailed a hero that we can actually f figure out what the heck is going on. And ladies and gentlemen, we're only having these conversations. We're only having these. These tater tays, tata tas, only because we care about these characters. We care about the genre. If we didn't care, we wouldn't be talking about it. You know what we say? We quit. Let's go to only watch Amazon The Boys. Let's just all watch The Umbrella Academy. That's it. The rest of the stuff are two biggest platforms Marvel and DC. Marvel we staying with, DC we just can't do it no more. What is going on? And then Henry Cavill, he's not back yet, but he's going to make cameos. Yo, P, cameos in what? <laughs> Who? Where? How? Wow. That kid across the street? Come on, man. He hasn't even unleashed in humans. He hasn't even unleashed Silver Surfer. Nah, and Galactus. Galactus. Fantastic Four. He hasn't even unleashed Doctor Doom. Getting back to circling around all the way back to Barry. You love this guy. You love the Flash. How do you not love the Flash? Yeah. Barry's great. But Barry wasn't, it wasn't always Barry. For a couple of years, a couple of decades, Barry went away. After Crisis in 1986, Barry disappeared fight, fighting the Anti-Monitor. What a way to go out. He went out a hero. Mm -hmm. Then we have Wally West for the next 20 years and the Titans. And Wally, Wally's been great. Carried the mantle of a Flash. But Wally was always Kid Flash from the 1960s. There's heritage here. Mm -hmm. That's the universe we know. That's the universe we would like to see. Not this helter skelter, bing, bang, bounce, boom, <laughs> pow. Where are we? Is this Jeffrey Dean Morgan thing real? I don't know. Who knows? Uh, it, it's to the point where we're just sitting back taking the punches just like everybody else. Mm -hmm. We're just going to sit back and see how this flies. It's just unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, DCU Future Series The Flash, this movie, we have no plot. We have no premise. All we're getting right now is elements. As we said, Ezra Miller has gotten a pass. Because about a year ago, Young man, people wanted your head on a plate. <laughs> and then you wanted to get with Grant Morrison and you pitched them movie ideas. I, you know what? I never, ever want to hear the ideas that you pitched because it probably would just infuriate <laughs> it would infuriate me more and more. Of course. I didn't want to hear it. 
course. People who are hired to be in this genre who still don't know anything about the genre and don't know anything about the history. Ladies and gentlemen, Nerd Generation, AKED News DCU Future Series, The Flash, The Cash, <laughs> The Past. We're going to wrap this up. Pete, I don't know where this is going. August 22nd. DCU fandom. DC fandom. Let's see where this goes. Yeah. But I will say this again. I still don't think we're going to get a lot of information. They never really give out information. And that's just been their pattern. Yeah, I They mean, just really we're, don't. We're certainly going to get announcements. And announcements in these, especially during these times, are going to be well thought out. And, and, but not the way not the way Marvel gives oh, announcements. No, 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 no. They Definitely never not. ever do. But you know, I'm I'm pretty sure people out there are looking forward to see what happens and what announcements they do make. I mean, I don't think it's gonna be anything surprising. Um, who knows? We just have to wait and see. But it to where it leads, you know, I don't really know. All I can just say is that I think the film. And HBO Max and whatever other platforms are going to remain separate. This Ben Affleck news, if true, if true, boys and girls, this is a headliner. This is a headliner. Could it be true? I think it could. He's not doing anything else. Yeah. A Batman show? It could be HBO dope. Max? It could be dope. I, I I know it'd be dope. You'll get some you'll get some subscriptions. It'll be Hells just yeah. as big as oh as the Mandalorian. Hells yeah. We did get some news from the kid on, uh, across the street. The uh, Damien Hellstorm will be on Hulu. Now what does that lead into? Well I don't know, because Blade is going to be on Disney Plus. So how can Blade can go over there? So the Punisher can't, Daredevil can't, but Blade's going over there unless you're going to water down vampires. We'll see. We'll see. Sticky wicket. Sticky wicket. You guys enjoy the rest of your summer. Not that we're signing off for the summer, but um bump. You guys stay safe. New York is doing very well. New York is doing excellent, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Now we might do a uh, <clears throat> escape from New York and put a dome in. We don't want nobody coming back. Only joking. You can come here. Uh, 14 day quarantine. Mm -hmm. But anyway. <laughs> we hope everybody listens to science. Yeah. We're not going to get into politics. We never get into politics around here. So the, the safest thing to say is listen to science. Yeah. If that's a hole, you will fall down a hole. <laughs> science, it works. <laughs> Don't listen to what somebody told you or somebody says they No, science. Yeah. Listen, uh, we don't want no one to go through what we did those couple of months. Yeah. But if you do as you're told and you hunker down, you'll be where we're at. It's not that hard. Like the guy said, it's not that hard. And wear a mask. Yeah. yeah. What you going to say, Pete? Um, no, I was going to say um, to those people who are interested in sending us an email or a question about something that you want for us to discuss... Or, ha or give you give you uh, our opinion on it. Just send us an email at the nerdgen at gmail dot com. I believe that's the email. I haven't looked in a while, but I think I checked a couple of days ago and there was nothing. So, uh, but I'm gonna check again and uh, and we'll answer this the question on the show and uh, we'll discuss it. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. That, that that sounds cool. Yeah. And we'll uh, you know put your uh, your tag name. A lot of you guys might go by the name, you know, Raheem, whatever. <laughs> but this is Tracy Spivey, 4994, signing off, Pete. Enjoy August 22nd. August 22nd. I keep saying that date. But I'm sure by then we'll get some more news. Will it be as crazy as chaotic? Who knows? And they're thinking that this fandom, this virtual fandom get together might actually take over co for Comic Con. I know you guys don't want to hear that. But they're saying, hey, we don't have to spend so much money. All comes down to business. Now, I think everybody likes the feel of the cons. I think everybody likes to be out there. We all do. We all do. And we all, and being cooped up like this, we all miss it. 
Just can't wait to get that needle. When is that needle coming? <laughs> anyway, we're signing off. You guys have a good week. We'll see you soon.